Now, according to the stories, they say that in trees there live spirits, particularly large and flourishing trees. So if you walk in a forest, there will be beings living in each tree, just enjoying their rootedness in the ground, enjoying their branches, and hearing the bird's song, and just appreciating the wildlife as it goes past them. And trees like that can live a very, very long time. Once a very long time ago, the Bodhisattva was reborn as a tree spirit. He too just watched things happening, he watched people come and go, and he lived in a very pleasant environment. His tree was in the Himalayas, so he could see the mountains, he could see the sky, he could watch the wild animals around, and he could feel his rootedness in the ground too. It was a very peaceful place. Now, far away at that time, the king's men of the city captured a very young elephant and they took him back to the king. The king said, yes, this is a very good elephant to be trained. We'll establish him well as one of our royal procession of elephants. And so the mahouts, the elephant trainers, started to train him. But in those days, training an elephant was a very cruel business. They used to beat him with goads and frighten him, and he felt pain all the time. Instead of doing what he wanted to do, he had to do what they wanted to do all the time. And they made sure that they, he was always frightened whenever they saw him, so that immediately he would do as they willed. He was in so much pain and so unhappy that one night he realised everything was quiet and he also realised that it would be possible for him to escape. So he uprooted the post to which he was tied and just ran off into the woods. And he ran and ran and ran as far as he could. Now the Mahouts and the king's attendants were alerted to this quite quickly and they chased after him with sticks saying, come back, come back. And they tried to follow him, but they couldn't catch him. He was so determined to get away from his unhappy imprisonment. When he was free of them, he realised he had to travel and travel because he didn't want to be near people again. He didn't want to be frightened. So he went up to the Himalayas too and he found very pleasant spots there in the mountains and very pleasant woods and there was wildlife and there were streams and he could start to live a contented life free from fear. But there was a problem. He'd been so unhappy being terrorised by these mahouts and trainers that he couldn't shake the fear off and wherever he went he trembled if he heard a noise, he trembled. If he went into the jungle, he trembled. He couldn't shake off this fear that seemed to have become just part of him. What was he to do? So he went to see the tree spirit and he saw that this tree had a very nice presence and that it looked kindly and seemed to be very still. So he said, I don't know what to do. I can't sleep, I can't eat, I can't do anything. I'm just so frightened all the time. Now the tree spirit who'd been watching him for a while said, do you know what? I think you're just going to waste away if you carry on like this. Why don't you just stop? You're not in the elephant training place anymore. You're in the Himalayas. Just give it up or else you're just going to waste completely away. Now the words were very simple, but in fact the elephant did take heed of them. And he found that oddly enough, just chatting about his problem and being able to unburden it to the tree spirit, the problem went away. And from that time on, he lived very happily in the forests of the Himalayas and he never ever felt fear again. Now that's a very simple story, 
But it is interesting that in all the lives that the Bodhisattva practices, courage or patience or does great things, heroic things for other beings, amongst them there are some where all he does is just stay put, stay calm and listen. And I think that's what he did in this story. It can be a great help if somebody listens and comes to us from a place of equanimity. It's not that common. And when we find it, we too sometimes can get rid of our problems and they won't trouble us again. <laughs>